What lessons does success teach you? If there is one trait that organizations and representatives all over the world have in common, it is the need to succeed in their joint endeavors. To be sure, there is quite a bit of variation about how and a person needs to describe what performance looks like for them, but there is no denying that at the end of the day, we're all motivated by the desire to know that our sacrifices and actions will one day result in success. Of course, there is another aspect of achievement that all of us have in common. What do we do after we've achieved it? And we don't mean if we want to remember or honor this milestone, instead, we are referring to the time where the dust falls and we glance back with satisfaction about what we've accomplished and are left with the nagging thought. So what do we do now? Well, <laughs> you are going to get answers to all of your concerns and questions in our today's video. In this video, we will talk about what lessons do success teach you. Before moving further, kindly like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss our upcoming amazing videos. So let us start right here. Number eight. Success teaches one to persevere in the face of adversity. After reaching a progress goal, people tend to ignore the challenging challenges or tactics that may shake the ship and instead concentrate on the programs that help solidify or strengthen their previous victories. It is not to suggest that we can always interrupt what we do. Rather, it indicates that we must be careful not to get complacent in pushing ourselves to work out everything we can achieve and do successfully in the future as a consequence of our victories. This is particularly true as people face challenges that would take a significant amount of time and effort to resolve in order to accomplish a crucial goal in the future. Number 7. Often, failing simply means taking a different path. Do you like Ben and Jerry's ice cream? Here were two men who had entirely different goals for their lives but still managed to achieve admirable progress. Mr. Ben Cohen dropped out of college while Mr. Jerry Greenfield was denied admission to the medical school and both went to become and stay extremely influential. The reason telling you this real life story is to let you know that failures are not a dead end for you and sometimes it leads you to a different path and this path may let you flourish in your life. Number 6 you must become more deliberate regarding your success. Do you know what the most important requirement for success of any human endeavor is? Well, the answer is very simple. It is goodwill. That's right. Success is planned. It does not come by chance. To guarantee that what you desire is followed up by the necessary action you must establish to correct the goals that would automatically contribute to the right actions. If you want to be a successful reader, you can learn and write as soon as possible. If you choose to create an application or a website, you must devote some time to it every day without a fail. And if you want to be a good competitor, you must commit to daily grueling workout sessions. Nothing but achievement can enter your mind when you talk, eat, sleep, and dream. As simple as it is, people always get it wrong, and not visualizing our dreams remains a stumbling block for most of us. Decide, imagine, and act. It is the first move towards performance. Number 5. Say goodbye to your comfort zone. We are beings of habit. We take the same route to work, eat at the same diner, order the same food, hang out with the same friends, and do what is convenient and fast. It's human nature to do the things that are comfortable with us and we don't want to be challenged. Staying in our comfort zone is how our minds are wired. This is the very point at which we begin to limit our development and become complacent. To become a greater and a healthier human being, you must get outside of your comfort zone. A comfort zone can seem to be a lovely and a relaxing spot, but nothing ever grows there. And history is replete with stories of individuals who became wildly popular when they stepped outside of their comfort zone and did something. Something frightening, fascinating, spontaneous, and out of the box. Number 4. Failure and performance are closely tied. We exist in a society where loss is focused upon. If you struggle at something, people may look down at you and might even mock you. This is how we've been programmed since childhood. 
Loss is undesirable in society, and performance has shown me that failure is unavoidable. In reality, one must fail big in order to succeed big. If you go back to the time and look at all the trailblazers, trend settlers, geniuses, and radicals, you'll see one characteristic they all have in common. None of them consider failure to be a negative thing. Example, if Edison had believed in failure, we might not have seen the electric lamp and would probably be living in the darkness. Similarly, if Henry Ford had given up early in his life and not revolutionized transportation, we suppose we would still be riding horses. Number 3. Your new mantra must be courage. If you make a mistake, even if it is a major one, there is still another opportunity. What we deem loss is not going down, just keeping down. We are also capable of making amazing mistakes and several of us have done so. The trick is not to let defeat and disappointment define you. You must keep moving forward. You must remember that success or failure doesn't matter. It is the courage to keep trying and moving forward that defines your success or perhaps failure. Number two, there is no such thing such as free lunches. Whatever your dreams and ambitions are, one thing is certain, you must pay the price to get what you want in life. Sacrifice is an unavoidable and necessary aspect of progress. You must make certain concessions in order to accomplish your goals since there are no free lunches in the country. Success and necessities, not only one, but a slew of actions on your part. It necessitates unwavering dedication, bravery, discipline, perseverance, responsibility, and most significantly, continuous action against your aspiration and dreams. One of the most significant sacrifices one should make is to abandon mediocrity and transform it into the person one strives to be. It entailed operating 18 hour days. It meant spending my weekends working on the proof hub rather than hanging out with my buddies. Of course, it was difficult, but looking back, you will remember how important it was for you and your growth. Number one, success is a journey rather than a destination. Many people used to believe that completing a specific goal, such as purchasing a vehicle, purchasing a new home, or establishing a new business will make them prosperous. They must confess that it felt amazing, and they should be proud of themselves for accomplishing both of these tasks. But achievement has taught us that it is not about the end, but about the journey. Pushing the boundaries, confronting our uncertainties, and being a greater version of ourselves with each passing day. That is what achievement is all about. Listen, but don't often comply with anyone else's definition of achievement. The road to success is fraught with ups and downs, but it is still worthwhile. So go out there, determine performance, and pursue it. I hope you'll find this video to your valuable advantage, which might help you in different ways. If you found this video informative, do like and subscribe, and make sure to give comment and provide us with your valuable feedback. Plus, if you want to suggest us a topic for the next video, feel free to tell us. See you in the next video. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.